This feels really weird. <laughs> Am I straight? Am I straight? I don't know. I feel really weird because I haven't been in front of my camera for like two weeks. So it feels really, really odd. But hi everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. Today I thought I would just do a sit down catch up on where I've been because um, I haven't had a video up on my channel in two weeks and it's been a little bit of a crazy two weeks. Um, so I just wanted to check in that you know that I'm fine. I've been really poorly, which I'll get into in a second. Um, but yeah, I'm fine, still pregnant. <laughs> Bump is, there we go. So I'm currently 31 weeks and four days, I think. Um, so yeah, if you want to see where I've been for two weeks, have a catch up with me, then please keep watching. Okay, where do we even begin? First of all, I'm gonna put my phone on silent because I've literally got a quiet 10 minutes. So it's currently the summer holidays. Um, so I've obviously got Darcy and Ollie here with me. Um, the last video that went up, I had a little look this morning, um, was my, a weekly vlog. So I obviously haven't had a weekly vlog up in a couple of weeks. So that would have ended the week before it was uploaded, if that makes sense. It's probably been almost three weeks since I've picked up my camera. And yeah, it just felt a little bit, I just felt a little bit disconnected. Obviously, I've not even really looked at any comments or anything because I've been um, not feeling great. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'm starting to feel a bit better now, so I'm going to start getting into things. But um, just if I'm coughing through this, please just bear with me. I've got another chest infection, um, which I'm slowly recovering from. I finished with my antibiotics now. So, yeah, um, talking sets me off, which is why I haven't had a video up excuse me <coughs> that's why i haven't have had a video up before now because i literally couldn't speak a few words without having a coffin fit but yeah i hope you're all well i've really missed coming on and it feels really really odd um that i haven't had a video up in a while and i said to tom i'm just gonna sit down today and just film a really like laid back chit chat and i'm gonna start vlogging again this week because there's some more updates with the house um that i want to catch you guys up on so let's go back let's go back to when this all started so i think the last update i said to you i was having some time off of work because that's when my first consultant appointments kicked in at 28 weeks so i had that week off and that was the last week the last full week before we broke up for the holidays our school was in on the monday and then they had two and zero days and then that was it and i said to tom i've just got a funny feeling that one of the kids will end up having to isolate because of a case oh yeah that happened didn't it so we ended up getting an email at about half past 10 on the friday evening so they've been to school all week um and then they were due in obviously it was the weekend they were due in on that last day obviously to say bye to their friends have a lovely summer blah 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 um and i had a email to say that ollie's year had to completely isolate so obviously that meant that i couldn't go into work on my last day which i wasn't too concerned about because obviously I'm quite heavily pregnant now um, and the cases were rising so I was kind of thankful from that side of it but I was really sad for him because I wanted him to be able to go in because he's they've missed a lot um, this year anyway he started school in September um, and it's just sad that he couldn't say bye to his friends and some of his friends um, are moving on to different schools so you won't see them and he hasn't got the same teacher so I was really sad but luckily I showed you all in my previous vlog if you haven't seen it I'll link it here um, but I'd already sorted all the teachers leaving gifts out because I just had I don't know what it is I just had a gut feeling that this was going to happen so I'm really glad that we took the teachers leavers gifts in on the Friday um, but yeah, so Darcy still had to go to school because it wasn't her year, even though she lives in the house with us. But I mean, just the rules, I just can't anymore. So Tom had to take Darcy to school, which meant he had to go into work later because I couldn't go because I couldn't take Ollie into the school. So obviously he has to sit at home. So then that then led us right through then the rest of that first week of the holidays. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> So that then led us right into that first week of the holidays um and then when his isolation period ended well on the weekend that it was due to end i woke up we'd actually taken the kids to air hop which is like a trampoline park if you haven't got one by you so we'd taken them there because i just felt awful that they'd been like stuck in the first week of the holidays luckily we had really 
super hot weather so i mean they weren't too bummed they had their big inflatable um bounce cast up in the garden so they had lots of like water fun in the garden it's really lovely um but we took them to air hop and then in the afternoon i just said to tom i just don't feel right and i had a bit of a niggly cough that i couldn't shake and i thought oh here we go obviously it's a symptom so ordered a pcr test went and had that done thankfully they come back negative but the following morning i woke up and i just knew it was a chest infection because i actually felt as though my chest was bruised now if you rem if you're new to my channel you won't know but if you've watched my other vlogs going back seven weeks ago i had exactly the same thing was diagnosed with a chest infection super poorly course of antibiotics um which then made my skin i had a reaction to them i had like spots all over my chin but they weren't really spots they were like i don't i don't know but it was obviously a reaction i read the um leaflet as the side effects so anyway i spoke to the doctor they wouldn't see me until my results came in to clear me for covid which obviously once they did hold on need another cough break <coughs> so yeah that then cleared me the doctor then prescribed me another course of antibiotics but i mean i was poorly to the point where tom had to take time off work because i could barely look after myself let alone look after darcy and ollie um and then after a couple of days i started i was still feeling really really rubbish um but i started to feel a bit more human but not to the point where i'd want to go out our car literally didn't move off of our drive for four days because we were just in the house and i just said to tom i was already obviously pregnancy hormones um i was feeling really down because i was poorly so i was feeling a bit sorry for myself i'm not gonna lie um and i said to Tom, i just feel like such an awful mother it's like the second week into their holidays we've done nothing we've gone nowhere i feel really bad for them then the weather has been absolutely awful um raining cold we've gone from one extreme where it was like 36 degrees to fifth literally 15 overnight and I just said, oh my goodness. And then obviously we've got stuff going on at the house, building work. And I just, I just, it was just too much. So yeah, hence that's where I've been. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm still, obviously I've still got my cough lingering. Um, uh, that will probably take last time. It took a couple of weeks to go. Um, but I finished my antibiotics. We've actually been out and about this morning. As I said, I am going to start to vlog again. Um, I haven't yet started this morning, so I'm going to start from this afternoon because we've picked up some cake mix. We've not booked anywhere as yet in the summer holidays. Um, I know in my last vlog I was asking for suggestions. We've not yet booked anywhere, um, but I'll share that in my vlog when we decide what we're doing, where we're going. It will probably be mainly stuff on the weekends because Tom does work during the week and obviously I want him to be able to come with us um when we go i'm actually due at the hospital this week for uh, a scan um a growth scan so as i said it's starting 31 weeks so i'm being scanned every three weeks my last one was at 28 weeks but yeah not very much has been going on obviously my tum has been super sore with all the coughing um and i just feel really bad for the baby like do you know what i mean she's just been dealing with me coughing um and just not feeling great but yeah i'm trying to my best to like look after myself obviously i'll update you guys when i know a little bit more from my scans um i've not seen a midwife or anything in between so uh, there's not really much to update you on in the pregnancy um but what we have done is we've in terms of the house the fencing in the back garden is pretty much done it's not been painted yet um <coughs> tom's painted the front of the house we're still waiting for it to be the rendering to be finished on the extension then he can do the fencing at the front and then that will look a million times better because i just pulled up on the drive and i was like oh my goodness my house i just you know when you pull up and it just looks a mess um but yeah we've done a, we're doing a little bit we're in the middle of a little bit of a freshen up of our bedroom so our loft um hasn't even been started yet and i said to tom i think i'm at the point where i just would quite like to start it next spring rather than try and rush and do it now um because i feel like this year don't get me wrong we've achieved so much um but i feel for tom as well so obviously he's at work during the day he's coming home working in the house because he's done the majority of the work himself and he's working until like 10 o'clock at night um and i just feel awful because it's obviously taking a bit of a toll on him i mean he says he doesn't mind doing it but obviously he needs a break as well um obviously i'm very limited now on what i can do um because i'm 
look very very pregnant i'm feeling very very pregnant um so yeah i just said i want our bedroom because our bedroom hadn't been done or touched or anything for about seven years and the paint all looked grubby so i'll include that in some of my vlogs um which is why i want to start this week so nothing major there's no like new carpets or anything because our carpet's fine but just giving it a bit of a spruce up just because if i do have to have a cesarean um i'm probably gonna spend quite a bit of time in my bedroom so i just want to feel like comfortable in there and just feel relaxed um and obviously i want to start organizing baby girl things because darcy was born my daughter was born at 37 weeks so potentially that's in like less than six weeks now and ollie was born at 39 weeks so that's in like seven eight weeks time because i'm nearly at 32 weeks so yeah it's coming around very fast um i'm also prepping for the kids going back to school like getting their uniform and things so i'm hoping to have a video up for that um but i just wanted to check in and say i'm still here i'm sorry for the like gap in my videos i'm hoping to still try and get two videos up a week um on a tuesday and a friday i have actually got a cleaning video up where i was cleaning in my utility so i'm going to try and get that edited for friday but i wanted to just sit down and say hello to you before i go putting a cleaning video up and then um hopefully i'll start vlogging so because i i know you will enjoy those weekly vlogs so yeah hopefully i can still get my two videos up a week if not it will be one a week so obviously i am in the holidays with the kids um but yeah i'll try my best obviously the kids like popping in and out of the videos you can probably hear ollie singing he's actually sat on the toilet as i'm filming this singing and i'm just waiting for him to say mom i'm finished um but yeah uh but yeah i hope you've all been well um and are keeping well and i hope you're enjoying the summer so far i feel like we're literally in august and it's gonna be christmas before we know it like the year is just i feel like gone like that and the year is just completely gone um but yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment i'd love to know how you all are how you're doing and if you're not already i hope you'll consider subscribing and i'll see you in friday's video which should be my clean with me video so stay tuned for that bye everyone you know it still hurts a little bit but not that much because if you want somebody else who am i to judge i've been thinking about you all the time that's alright I'm starting to get used to it 